around, helping you out a little bit as you close out your career here? Super valuable, and I'm thankful for everything that he's done for me. When I, last year, he stuck with me when I went went through with uh, some suspension with the team, and he, he believed in me the whole time, and I'm really thankful for that. And I can always go to him with, with anything that's on my mind, about with punting, just personal life, and he's, he's always going to be there for me, and I'm very thankful for that. Kind of hit you yet that this weekend is is the last last go around here? Yeah, it is. The only thing I won't won't miss at this place is the wind in the stadium. <laughs> <laughs> what what I mean? What did you look back? I know it's been kind of short. It's kind of weird that you you know split so much time with Nick um, mm -hmm. early in the career. But I mean, what what is the the career here that you've had? What, what has it meant to you? And just kind of what are your thoughts on it? It's meant so much. It's shaped me into the person I am today. I mean, I I grew up as a KU fan, huge KU fan, and I never thought I'd at K-State. I, I wanted to go to KU and obviously they didn't want me so I, I ended up here and very thankful for this journey that I've been on and, and really wouldn't trade it for anything. You guys picked five and, or picked ninth at the start of the season five and seven a year ago. Yeah. What would win in eight games on if you could get this one on Saturday? What would that mean? It'd be huge. I mean it'd show everyone that don't judge something uh, based off of last season or whatever. It's a new season no matter what like for Alabama like being ranked first I and mean, anything could happen really I mean I'm not saying that we're Alabama or anything but I mean anything can happen don't judge anything off the of last season it's a new season we went hard to work this summer and I mean the results are showing how much pride do you sense <coughs> pardon me that Sean Snyder takes in your play and the special teams play this year oh I love it I mean Sean is comes to work every day I mean obviously he's not a coach here but we can go to him whenever yeah. we want to and I, I truly value his opinion. I mean, I go to him for anything that I ever need, and he's always going to be there for me for when I'm done here, even. So, I know this won't help the holder of the year possibilities, but how many like holds that are not perfect this year has Blake still made? You think? Have you any you put down and thought, "Oh, we're in trouble," and then he still put it oh, through? He, he's told me on a couple, of them. <laughs> even, even though he still made those ones. But yeah, he'll, he'll, he'll let me know when, when they are good. So <laughs> yeah. How, how tough is it to get a quote unquote perfect hold? Down? Like, how often does that happen percentage wise? Well, I, in my mind, I think I got a perfect hold every time. But, I mean, with Blake, uh, he he likes the ball tilted to the right and lean back a little bit. So, like, that one trade I had, like, tilted to the right five degrees and lean back six degrees. And we had a long snap around and he calculated all of that. So, like, we kind of look for that whenever we're watching film or something. <laughs> how big of a part is the snap, too? Because we look at, you know, the hold and the kick as, you know, the obvious parts. But how tough is it to get that snap back there where you need it every time, too? Uh, snap's vital because snap, say, on my shoulder, I mean, mm -hmm. I can disrupt Blake's timing, which... I don't know if you saw the game this weekend with the Giants and uh, I don't forget who they were playing it, NFL yeah. game. The snapper rolled the ball back, but the the hold was fine because it, it but it just messed up the kicker's timing. So just the snap just means so much because that's what starts the whole process of the kick. If the snap's bad, then it messes up the timing and it could mess up the hold too. When you're watching games like that on Sunday, do you feel like you have a good sense before the kick is kicked, like by by seeing the snap, seeing the hold, like having a sense if it's going to go or not? Yeah. So I I, I watch whenever I'm watching special teams in the NFL is I'll watch the snap. So the snap is the key to the whole thing. So if it's a bad snap, then there's a chance that the kick might, might not go in because it's messing up something in the kicker's mind. Yeah, yeah.